Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren, and this is your 35 minute upper body push workout. That means we are hitting our push muscles, which are our chest, our shoulders, and our triceps. This is part of the split strong training program, so we are split training specific muscle groups. And today, it's about your push muscles. So your workout looks like this. You have three circuits. Each circuit is dedicated to a muscle group, the chest, the shoulders, and the triceps. Okay, you're gonna do some strength training exercises on the front end, and then we're gonna do a nice cardio push to raise that heart rate to bata style. You'll do your strength exercises for 40 seconds of work, followed by 20 seconds of rest. Your heart rate rising cardio exercises will be Tabata style, which is 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. So short, but intense. I have a couple dumbbells with me here, ranging from 20 pounds down to 12 pounds. I'll be using them all throughout today's workout. Use whatever you have available to you, and let's get ourselves started with a warm up. Okay, so go ahead, start with your feet shoulder width distance apart, and just give me some arm flaps right here. Just opening up the chest, sweeping through those shoulders, keeping a nice long neck throughout this entire workout, shoulders down. We're just gonna warm up our upper body right here. Sweep it out for four, three, two, and one. Now you're gonna take your right hand for me. You're gonna go thumb down, thumb up. It's like you're drawing a figure eight with your thumb, getting all heads of the shoulder rotating right here, moving, right? Creating mobility with our upper body. That is the name of the game today. Mobility with the upper body, stability with the core. So my core is gonna stabilize me and keep me controlled. My upper body is gonna do the work. You got three, nice. Two, and last one, other side, same thing. Take that thumb, go down, thumb up. Thumb down, thumb up. Drawing big figure eights. Make them nice and big with my hand here, rotating through all heads of the shoulder, chest, tricep. So while each circuit focuses on a specific muscle group, actually all three muscles are gonna be engaged in working, right? They're all our push muscles. They're all gonna be working. Nice, two more. One and two. Last one, nice. Let's go ahead and sweep it out again. You're gonna give me a big inhale, reach up nice and tall. Right wrist is gonna grab left wrist up and over, side body stretch. Take it back to center. Now reach the left hand back towards the middle of the back. Just a nice little tricep stretch opener. Reach back up, other side. Up and over to the left. Back to center, right hand reaches for the middle of the back. Nice. Go ahead, flap those wings one more time. We're gonna take it to the back of our mat and go for some plank walkouts. One of my favorite ways to warm up the shoulders and the core. You're gonna hinge over, plant the hands, walk out to a high plank. Once you get there, give me three, or four, four. three would be awkward. Four shoulder taps, one. Two, three, four, gotta even it out. Nice, walk it back in. Stand up tall, there it is. Take it down, walk it out, find that high plank. Tap those shoulders, one, two, three, and four. There it is, walk it back in. Stand up tall, we're gonna do this two more times through, right here. Nice, create lots of stability through that core as you tap those shoulders, those hips don't move. You got it, you got it. One more, right here, walk out. High plank, tap for four, three, two, and one. Hold here, shift that weight forward. Now you're in a nice high plank position. You're gonna give me two push-ups. So lead with the chest, push away from the floor. You can take this from the knees, lead and push from here. Push up and back down, dog. That should feel really good. Pressing the chest towards the thighs. Go ahead, just shake it out, pedaling out the heels. Nice, hold here for three, two, and one. Push all the way forward, lower all the way to the belly. Take the hands behind the back. Can you give me a chest expansion? Pulling the chest and shoulders away from the ground as you open up through the chest right here. Nice, this should feel really good. We're gonna go ahead and finish our workout here. So you can look forward to coming back to this position at the end of your workout. Nice, replant the hands, push up and back, down dog. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Take a nice forward hang here. Let it all hang heavy. Bend the knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna go ahead and add some energy right here. Option, tap it, tap it. Option, jack it, jack it, jack it. There you go, we're gonna start to raise that heart rate a little bit. Get ourselves ready to move through those cardio tabatas. You have eight, seven, six, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna reach across the body. So just sweep and sweep, just straight across the body, tapping that back toe, pivoting and twisting, moving. Can you take those arms up overhead? Right here, big sweeps up and up. There it is for eight, seven, six, you got it. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Shuffle, push, shuffle, push, shuffle, push, shuffle, push. Nice, right here. Couple shuffles and then push. Warming up that core, warming up that upper body. Starting to raise that heart rate a little bit, nice. Woo, you have four, awesome job. 
three, nice work, two, and one, back to center, let's go ahead, just march out right here, or you can run it, give me some high knees, high knees, high knees right here, there you go, add that energy, eight, seven, six, you got it, five, four, butt kicks in three, two, heels to the glutes right here, now add those arms, push them up, give me eight, seven, six, you got it, five, four, three, two, and one, you nice and warm? I hope so. Go ahead, grab a quick sip of water, and we are gonna jump in to our workout. Okay, we're starting on the chest. The largest of the three upper body muscles we are gonna work today. We're gonna start on the ground on your backside. You're gonna come down to a seated position, taking your weights at your side. You're gonna lay down, okay? So I'm going to go into a chest press. My back is connected to the ground. You could also do this from a bench or a stability ball. Legs are bent at 90 degrees. I'm in chest press, so my dumbbells are in line with my chest. I'm going to push up and inhale down. That is move number one. We're gonna stay on the ground for move number two, and then we're gonna come standing for move number three. Are you ready? You have 40 seconds per move, and it's gonna start in three, two, let's go right here. So big push up, inhale down. Exhale, push, inhale down. Thinking about keeping my rib cage pulled in nice and tight. I like to pretend there's a blueberry on my belly button, and I'm trying to keep it there by squeezing it between my ab muscles, right? That's gonna help pull the rib cage in, keep that low back connected to the mat. Now for the arms, I'm keeping those dumbbells right in line with my chest, chest stays puffed out, pushing through the shoulders, big, or pushing through the chest. Shoulders are engaged to stabilize me. Inhale down, big exhale, push. Nice work, you guys, you got this right here. Dumbbell chest press, go heavy if you can. You're in the final five, four, three, two and one nice work awesome job that's move one i'm going to set those weights off to the side and i'm going to move down to my 15 pounds for a dumbbell chest fly so i'm going to stay on the ground okay again you can do this from a bench a stability ball give you a little bit more range of motion this time arms are palms are facing in slight arc in the arms open and close you're there in three two let's go soft bend in those elbows open exhale close that blueberry's on the belly button Keeping that rib cage pulled in. It is a dumbbell chest fly. So I open and I close. Getting good range of motion here, right? Nice work, stretching, stretch and open up that chest, then pull it back together. Inhale down, exhale, pulls me back together. Pull those weights together, nice work. Soft bend in those elbows. Think about creating an arc with your arms right here. Nice work, pull it together. It's gonna feel heavy, right? These back to back to back chest exercises are gonna challenge you. Three, two, and one, you're up. We come up to a standing position for move number three, the final of the chest circuit. Palms are gonna go out. It's an alternating fly from a standing position. So I go here and here. I'm drawing pinky to opposite shoulder. Pinky to opposite shoulder, you're there in three, two. Let's go, fly to the right shoulder. Fly to the left shoulder, keeping a soft bend in those elbows. Exhale up, inhale down. Control it. Think about keeping that core, that midsection nice and tight, right? Right here, lift and lower. Just lifting right up to shoulder height, pinky to shoulder. Right here, working those pecs, my chest muscles. Shoulders are also involved in this move. Woo! Good way to burn out right here, the chest. Move number three, you got 10 seconds left. Yes, you can. Keep that core tight, alternating one at a time. Stay in at five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, weights go down. Those are your three moves. Shake it out, roll at the wrist. Give me a little jog in place if you need to and set it back up. We're gonna start with that dumbbell chest press. Last time you're gonna do it, try and go heavy, okay? Challenge yourself, laying on your back, palms face out away from the body, arms are goal posted. Three, two, let's push right here, up and down. Your pace, your tempo, these are timed intervals. You get to get in as many reps as you can. If you got heavier weights like me, these 20 pounds, I'm gonna go slow and controlled, right? Okay, a little bit slower, I might get in less reps than if I had 15 pounds or 12 pounds or eight pounds, whatever you have today. The goal is to fatigue the chest. Those last two to three reps should feel really challenging, okay? That's how you know you've chosen the right weight. Right here, you're in the final 10 seconds. This is where it should start to get hard, right? Come on, stay in it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, right here. Down up for five, four, three, two, 
and one, big push, nice work. I'm gonna set those 20s off to the side, grab my 15s, move number two is the chest fly. We're opening this time, so that open and close, creating that arc with the arms, right? Blueberry still on the belly button. You're there in three, two, let's go. Palms are facing in, open, exhale, close. Again, if you had a stability ball or a bench, you might get a little bit more range of motion here, but you can use the floor. Use whatever you have, wherever you're at, okay? If you're with five pound weights, that's where you're at today. The goal is always progress, right? You get to come back to these workouts, you repeat them, you get stronger, you get better. Woo, nice work, you guys. Hang in it, come on. Keep those dumbbells right in line with the chest, chest puffed out. I feel that chest, it is on fire. 10 seconds, that's where it should be. Find that fire, breathe into it, finish strong. Right here, five, four, three, two, and one. You're up, awesome work, you guys, awesome work. I'm just gonna move my 20s out of the way here. Stick with my 15s for move number three, right? I got that alternating fly right here. Fly and fly, cross body, pinky to shoulder. Finish strong right here, and then you're gonna go into cardio. Let's go to the right shoulder in three, two, here we go, up, nice, and up. Finishing off your chest circuit right here. Awesome job. Should be feeling the fire, right? We're gonna go into a nice cardio push after this. You got it, you got it. Nice work. Grab some heavy weights, get after it. Each move, you only do it twice. Come on, keep that core nice and stable. Push it up, you got this. Looks really good, you guys, come on. Hang in it. Fun move if you've never tried it before. I love this chest fly. Good standing move, engages the core. Let's go, finish, you're in the final five. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, you guys. That is chest. We're moving on to a cardio Tabata. You have two moves, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Your first move is with a dumbbell if you choose. You can do it without a dumbbell. It is a shuffle pass. So I'm gonna shuffle to my right, push and pass. Shuffle left, push and pass. Shuffle, pass. Like you had a basketball, remember that high school basketball practice and you're passing that basketball to a friend? Now it's a weight, it's heavier, it's harder, you're stronger, you're better, let's go. 20 seconds, shuffle to your right. Two shuffles and a pass. You're there in three, two, let's go. Come on, 20 seconds, whoo. You can do anything for 20 seconds. My toes follow the weight. Pivot pass, as the weight goes to the side, my back toe pivots. Pivot pass, come on, pivot pass. This is meant to raise your heart rate. Yes it is, it's only 20 seconds, you're in the final five. Four, three, two, and recover. Nice work, move number two, no dumbbell. You're walking out to a high plank, adding a push up. So I walk out, give me a push up, knees or toes, walk back in. 20 seconds in three, two, here we go. Walk it out, walk it out, give me the push up. Walk it in, come on. Walk it right back out. Come on, 20 seconds, yes you can. It is fast, it is furious. Let's go, let's go. You can always drop to the knees for the push up, pop back to the toes for the walk in. Finish, you got three, two, and one. Woo, ha, shake it out, shake it out. Nice work you guys, repeat it. Two more times, two more times. Dumbbell, shuffle, pass, in three, two. Let's go to the right, shuffle, push and pass. Come on, three sets of these cardio moves. Push that heart rate. You got it, you got it. Pivot pass. Pivot pass, come on. Nice. Work. Hello, cardiovascular endurance. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, weight is down. Walk out to that plank. Add the push up from the knees or the toes. Come on, come on. Right here. Three, two, let's go. This is where you gotta crank up that intensity, that energy into these push movements. Woo. Walk it out, add the push-up, knees or toes. Tell you what, push-ups are really hard after you just fatigued the chest, aren't they? Come on, come on, 20 seconds, yes you can. Hang with me, five, four, three, two, you're out, Whew. that's tough stuff. All right, you guys, two down, one to go. Grab your dumbbell, final time, shuffle, pass. We're gonna go to our left, three, two, let's go, let's go, shuffle, pass. Mix it up on you. Keep you engaged, right? So it makes these workouts fun. Gotta keep you mentally engaged, physically engaged. I always say, fitness is such a huge part of my mental health. Come on, three, two, one. Nice work. Woo! Set it down. Last time, walk out, push up. 
Walk up, push up. Last time you're gonna do it, make it count. Three, two, let's go, let's go. Walk out, find that high plank. Give me the push up. Ooh, nice work. Walk it in. Woo, right back out. Come on, come on. You got this. 20 seconds. Yes, you can. You are so stinking strong. Hello, shoulders. Hello, chest. Hello, core. Woo, finish with me. Finish it. Five, four, three, two, one more walkout. Ooh. Okay, not sure if I could do another push up there. Woo, awesome job, you guys. Grab some water. Circuit one is out of here. Moving on to circuit two. Circuit two is all about the shoulders, okay? Two strength moves, two cardio moves. Let me show you your strength move. I'm debating how heavy I wanna go here. I'll try a 15, I'll try it. Never hurts to start heavy, right? Alternating Arnold press. So palms come up facing me, alternate. Punch right, bring it in. Punch left, bring it in. 40 seconds, you're alternating. So one at a time means I can possibly go heavier, yes? Say yes, yes you can, try it. Try and go heavy with me. You can always drop the weights and go lighter. 40 seconds of work. Get those dumbbells up right here. You're on in three, two, let's go. Punch right and in. Punch left and in. Constant tension on the shoulders, whether they're pressing or holding. You got it. Soft bend in the knees. Big exhale as I push overhead. Again, big move to control the weights, right? I'll tell you these 15 pounds are gonna feel mighty heavy by the end. My focus here, Relax shoulders, long neck. Relax shoulders, long neck. Don't let those shoulders pop up into the ears. Come on, you got this. Ooh, you feel that fire? I do, I do. Come on, 10 seconds. So you start to make that ugly face, right? Power through, yes you can. Finish with me, five, four, three, two, and one to even it out. Woo! Holy bananas, shoulders. Shake, 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 shake. All right, I'm gonna drop down to 12 for this next move. It is a lateral raise and a front raise, it's a combination. So I go, lat raise, front raise, 40 seconds. We'll start with the lateral raise in three, two, let's go. Lateral raise, front raise. Remember, these are timed intervals. You do not have to stick with my pace. You get to choose your pace. Front raise, if you've got heavy weights, you alternate. One lat raise, one front raise, then you switch arms. One lat raise, one front raise. On the lat raise, palm faces in, palm faces my body on the front raise. Palm faces in, palm faces in. Nice work, tiny shift. Ooh, I'm gonna stick with this alternating because my shoulders are on fire. You got this, you got this. One lat raise, come on, finish with me. Three, two, we'll do one more lat raise together for the finish, there it is, shake it out. Nice work, those are your two moves. Two shoulder moves, we're gonna repeat them one more time, yes? I'm gonna use these 15 pounds and I'm gonna make it through. It's gonna burn, but I'm gonna do it. Come on, you with me? You with me? Grab those heavy weights. Alternating Arnold press. Pick them up in three, two, let's go. Punch right, nice work. Punch left, woo, fire, fire, right? I always say, how do you know what weights to choose? If you've been using the same weights for a year, it's time to go up, you guys. It is time to push yourself. You wanna go to the next level? You gotta work for it, right? Come on, come on. I wouldn't have been doing these 15 pounds a year ago, but I'm doing them today because I kept working at it, consistently chipping away at strength gains. That is the name of the game. You're gonna see me fail here. That's okay, 10 seconds. I'm working to failure. That means I'm working for it, I'm earning it. Oh, it burns, come on, five, four, three, two. Not sure I could have got another rep in there. Holy bananas. That's tough stuff, right? Shoulders, every shoulder workout you're gonna do with me, you're gonna see like this squinty face trying to work on relaxing the face, I'm working on it, but it's hard work, right? Okay, one lat raise, one front raise. I'll start double and then I'll go to single. Here on in three, two, let's go. To the side, to the front. Just raising right up to shoulder height, trying to create, again, that stability in the core. Okay, come on. Nice, long neck, nice relaxed shoulders. Let's go right here, this is hard stuff, you guys. These shoulders are so on fire. I'm gonna go to singles. So it looks like this on the next one. Right to the side, right to the front. Nice work. Come on, left to the side. You got this. Left to the front. You can stay with me or you can double it up. Come on, come on, finish with me. We're gonna finish off. Finish off right here. To the side and front 
and you're done. Weights go down. Whew, that was tough shoulder work, let me tell you. Cardio Tabata, two moves, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Your first move is a press jack. I'm gonna grab this 15 pound dumbbell. We're gonna jack it up and up. Your option, tap and tap. Those shoulders are gonna feel it, 20 seconds. You're on, in three, two, let's go, let's go. Jack it up for 20 seconds, yes you can. Push that weight overhead. You got it, you got it. Come on, three times through. 20 seconds, 10 seconds left, let's go, let's go, push it, you got this, Woo! right here, right here, five, four, three, two, one, Woo! and a bonus one, nice work you guys, dumbbell down, next move, four mountain climbers, one plank walk, looks like this, climb for one, two, three, four, walk my plank, three, two, let's go, let's go, climb, two, three, four, let's walk to the left, there we go, one, two, three, four, walk to the right. <sighs> Climb, two, three, four, and walk it. You can always take these planks up to an incline. Come on, you're in the five. Four, three, two, and one. Those are your two moves. Two more times through. Press jacks. Come on, come on. Grab that dumbbell. Three, two, let's go, let's go. Jack it and jack it. Those 10 seconds of rest. Man, do they go fast, right? Woo! Right here, right here. Low impact, you're tapping and tapping and tapping. You got it, you got it, let's go. Stay with me, come on. Yes, you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Dumbbell down. Nice work, you guys. Four climbers, walk it. We're gonna walk to our right first. Set up your plank. Four climbers and walk in three, two, let's go, let's go. One, two, three, four, and walk it. Nice. Climb, two, three, four, and walk it. Whew. Take it at your pace. It's your 20 seconds. Do with it what you want. All I ask is that you keep moving. Come on, you got five, four, three, two, you're out. Whew. One more time through. Come on, yes you can. Yes you can, you were made for this. Believe it or not, Whew. believe it or not. Three, two, let's go, let's go. You were made to move. Yes you were. Come on, up and up, let's go, you got this, come on. Push that heart rate, come on, it feels good to have a big, beautiful heart beating inside your chest, doesn't it? Let's go, for three, two, one, nice work, awesome job. Down to the ground, we're gonna walk to our left this time. Four climbers, one plank walk. You're there in three, two, let's go, let's go. Climb, two, three, four, and walk it. One plank walk. Climb, two, three, four, and walk in. I have a son who watches me work out. He's a three, three and a half. And he always says, Mommy, what are you doing? He said, Mommy's working her heart, making sure she stays healthy so I can keep up with you. Yes? Come on, you got three, two, and one. Woo! Nice work, you guys. Two circuits down. Grab some water. Awesome job. That means we got one circuit left. This is your tricep circuit. tricep circuit, it looks like this. Two strength moves, two cardio moves. Same format. Okay, you guys, grab those weights. Nice work, you are crushing this. When you're ready, you're taking it down to your backside. We are gonna go skull crushers to single arm tricep kickback. Skull crushers to single arm tricep kickback. Starting on my back, here we go. Arms go overhead. Okay, again, that blueberry's on my belly button that I'm crushing. It's a bend, extend. Bend, extend, and push. 40 seconds, starts in three, two, let's go. Crush that blueberry. Keep that back connected, pull that rib cage in nice and tight. Dropping those dumbbells right down towards the temples, the side of the head. Big exhale, pushes them back up overhead. Inhale down, exhale push, nice work. Inhale down, exhale push. You got this, you got this. Just bending at the elbows, come on. Slow and controlled. Working the tricep, the back of the arm, the final of our three push exercises in the upper body. Woo! Get after it, you guys. You're doing it. Let's go. Stay with it. You're in the final five. Four, three, two. You're gonna give me one more because you can. Oh, there it is. Nice work. You're coming up and over. We're going to a single arm tricep kickback. So I'm gonna hold the dumbbell in my right hand. I'll do the left side next time. 
Set it up, shoulder down and back, elbow comes towards my hip. Kick back and in, okay? Single sided, you're there in three, two, let's go. So I have a slightly hinged over position. My core is staying nice and tight. Single sided kick back. This 12 pound dumbbell is gonna feel mighty heavy, but I really want you to focus on slow and control. Number one mistake I see with these kickbacks is momentum sw swinging, coming in, swinging, coming in. No, stabilize the core. Just use the back of your arm to push back. Just use that back of the arm. Woo, do you feel that tricep? I do, it's working. It's on fire. You got this, you guys. Yes, you can, 10 seconds. You can do anything for 10 more seconds. Yes, you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. I was gonna say one more rep, but I'm not sure I could have, right? That 12 pound felt mighty heavy. You can always drop weights, use what you have. Back to skull crushers. Laying on the back, dropping those dumbbells down, shooting them straight up overhead. You guys are rocking this, you are rocking it. Okay, on your back, you're there. In three, two, let's go, let's go. Bend and extend, right here. Bend and extend, nice work. Whoo, back to back tricep moves. That right arm, especially right now, is feeling fatigued. We're gonna hit the left arm next time through. Come on, come on, you got this. Yes, you can, you can do anything. 40 seconds of work, you are so strong. So strong, building strength right here. Oh, those strength gains are gonna continue to stay with you. Continue to burn all day. Woo! Oh, it's starting to feel mighty heavy, as it should, because you're in the final five. Four, three, two, and one, there it is. Woo, holy bananas, that was fiery. All right, single-sided tricep kickback on the left side. Left hand grabs that dumbbell. Shoulder goes down and back, elbow goes high. Bend, extend, right? Shake it out, you guys. Last tricep move, come on. You got this, you're there in three, two, let's go. Remember, you control that weight. I like to think here, big extend, tiny bend. That takes that momentum out of it, that swinging, right? If I go tiny bend, big extend, tiny bend, big extend, bringing the weight right to my hip, shoot it straight back. Right to my hip, shoot it straight back. Keep that shoulder relaxed, long neck, woo. Working that tricep, I know it burns. I feel it, you guys, I feel it, I am with you. If you need to take a quick break, it's a three second break. You set the dumbbell down, you get right back in. Come on, stay with me. You got this, final five, four, three, Two, you're gonna give me one more. Yes, you can, there it is. Nice work, set those dumbbells down. Awesome job. We're moving into our final cardio Tabata. Final one, are you with me? Grab a quick sip, let's finish off strong. Set it down, you guys. We are moving into the final cardio Tabata. I'm grabbing my sweat towel, because it's going down, army crawl. And I'm getting a little sweaty and I don't wanna be sliding all over the place. I start in a high plank, drop down forearm, forearm, high plank, high plank. You are gonna feel your triceps, your chest, and your shoulders, but it's only 20 seconds, okay? 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Three times through these two exercises. All right, you get to go to your backside after this move. Are you ready? Because your 20 seconds starts in three, two, let's go, let's go. So it's forearm, forearm, high plank, high plank. I need you to take a nice stable base with your feet right here. A nice stable base with your feet. Keep those hips square to the ground. Your option is always to drop to the knees. You can do this move from your knees, especially if you feel like you're gonna fall on your face after these arm exercises, right? Come on, do your best, forget the rest. You're here for five, four, three, two, and one, you're out. Nice work, you go right up and over to your backside. Sit up, two jabs. Back up, punch, punch. Knock it out in three, two, let's go. Roll back, roll up, boom, boom. Roll back, roll up, boom, boom. Let's go, knock this out. 20 seconds of work, yes you can. If a full sit up is not in your capacity, you're right here, you're jabbing it out. Jab it out, let's go, finish five, four, three, two, one more, one more, there it is. 10 seconds of rest, come on, up and over. Army crawl, two more times, yes you can, come on, say it, yes I can, three, two, let's go, let's go. Do your best, forget the rest. If you gotta drop to your knees, drop to your knees. Come on, you can do this, yes you can. Two minutes of work, that's what I'm asking from you. Right here, finish strong. You are so strong, so strong. Yes, you are. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, up and over, backside. One sit up, two jabs. Option, stay up high and jab it out. 
you get to decide. It's your workout, right? Three, two, let's go, let's go. Roll back, roll up, boom, boom, knock it out. Come on, come on. Punch it out. Big, strong arms right here. Finishing this workout so strong. Woo! You got this, you got this. Yes, you can. Let's go, let's go. Right here. Five, four, three, two, one more, one more. Boom, boom. Are your core on fire yet? Woo! Upper body and abs. Last time you're gonna do it. Make it count. Let's go. Three, two, army crawl right here. Down, down, up, up. Come on, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Yes, you can. I should have mentioned, try and change that lead arm every time you drop to the ground. Woo! Hello, hello, those abs are on fire. You got this, final five. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Nice work. Chest, shoulders, tricep, take a break. Sit up, two punches. Three, two, finish it. Come on, you guys, finish right here. Boom, boom, finish this workout. Yes, Woo! Let's go, let's go. So strong, so powerful. So awesome. Come on, come on, let's go. 10 seconds, finish with me. You got this, right here. Five, four, three, two, one more. Nice work, woo. Awesome job, you guys, that's the workout. And now we got a solid five minute mobility cool down. Grab some water. Intentionally made these 35 minute workouts so I could give you a good warm up and a good cool down. Now we're gonna cool down and stretch it out. Don't skip the cool down. I've been a trainer for far too long. I know how many people skip the cool down, okay? Stay with me. It'll be worth it, I promise. I'm gonna show you some fun new stretches you haven't tried. You're gonna love them. First, let's go ahead and start child's pose. Big toes to touch, nice wide hips. Sit the hips back, walk the hands away from the body. Big inhale, forehead to the mat. Big inhale. As you exhale, can you walk your fingertips away from your body? Nice, do it again, big inhale. As you exhale, can you walk the fingertips a little bit further away from the body? Should feel really good, right? Nice. Awesome job. Nice, from here, you're gonna walk the knees in a little bit. We're gonna do that same thing, except we're gonna go puppy dog stretch. So hips are gonna stay high, walk the hands away. Thumbs go up, thumbs go up. Really just pushing into the lats. And you're like, well, why my lats? We worked the shoulders, because any overhead movement you do, this move right here, this stretch, is gonna give you greater range of motion. So if you struggle with that overhead press movement, if it feels tight in your shoulders, feel like you don't have good mobility, hang out here for a little bit. Really awesome mobility exercise. Nice, now you're gonna come up. You're gonna lower all the way down to that chest. Remember that warm up move we did that I said I would bring back? Here it is, nice chest expansion. Can you clasp your fingers behind you? Pull the knuckles away from the tailbone as you lift the chest off the ground. This should feel so good. Opening up through the chest, opening up through the shoulders. Awesome job, you guys. This is what you work for, the stretch at the end, right? Nice work. Awesome, hold here for three, two, one. Go ahead, take it down. Now you're gonna bring your arms out to a T at your sides, laying on your belly. This is a scorpion stretch, so I'm gonna take my left foot towards my right hand, opening up my hip, also rolling into this shoulder right here, shoulder and chest. Nice stretch right here. Rolling up and open. Nice hip opener, nice shoulder chest opener. Keeping my shoulder connected to the mat. Awesome job, you guys, so proud of you. Thanks for showing up and making me motivated to work out today. Always good to work out with someone, right? That accountability, that push, let's go up and over other side, scorpion other side. So this time, pulling that right leg towards the left hand. Nice, rolling into that left shoulder, opening it up. One of my favorite stretches, feels really, really good. Awesome job. Bring it back to center. Nice work, push up into a tabletop position. So my shoulders are stacked over my wrist right here. We're gonna go back into that puppy dog stretch, except this time my elbows go to the mat and my hands are gonna reach for my back. My hands reach for the middle of my back and I'm pushing away from my elbows. Hips go back, pushing away from the elbows. Nice tricep stretch here, right? You could do this if you have a chair or a bench, place your elbows on your chair, your bench, your couch and do this same stretch. It's gonna give you a lot more range of motion and it's gonna feel really, really good. Again, great for those overhead presses, great for opening up your triceps, which we worked at the end. Awesome job. Hold here for three, two, and one. Nice work. We're gonna come over into a seated position for our final stretches, okay? Go ahead, 
Find a comfortable seated position. Take that right arm across the body. Drop the shoulder and roll out the wrist. Nice work, you guys. So proud of you. Love these stretches. Solid way to finish. If you're sore tomorrow, come back. Try these stretches again. Flap the wings. Nice. Shoulder stretch other way. My goal is to give you an arsenal of stretches that you can come back to. They have in your back pocket, right? Come back to these stretches throughout the day. Incorporate them into your daily life, your activities, your movements. Nice. We're going to find eagle arms for our final stretch. So here's my right arm. My left arm threads underneath. Can I get my palms to touch maybe? Take my elbows away from my body and then lift my fingertips up towards the ceiling. Going to open up those traps, the shoulders. It's going to feel really, really good. Nice work, you guys. Awesome job. Flap it out. We're going to go other side. So this time, left arm out, right arm threads underneath, palms to touch. Take the elbows away from my body, then lift the fingertips up towards the ceiling, opening it all up. I feel this so much in my traps. That's right around my neck right here. So I'm going to give you one final neck stretch. I'm going to come into a kneeling position just because that felt so good. I'm going to take one hand, gently place on my head, give myself a nice little neck opening stretch. You can hold here. If this feels good for you, you're going to take this arm and wrap it around to the middle of your back right here. Nice trap opener, nice neck opener. Really good for workouts like this where you tend to, you shouldn't, but tend to scrunch those shoulders up, right? Let's do it on the other side. Gentle neck stretch right here. Opposite arm re wraps around to the back if you're capable right here. Nice trap opener, nice neck opener. Hold here for three, two, and one. Awesome job, you guys. You made it through. That is your split strong push workout. We hit the chest, the shoulders, the triceps. If you like these split training workouts hitting specific muscle groups, make sure you check out this Split Strong 35 program. You can find more of those videos linked here on this page. Have a great day and I look forward to sweating with you again really soon.